Imagine if you buy your plants from here, you just yeah, you just know it's good quality. Okay, then we're moving on to yeah, my favorite part of this whole trip. What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Hope you're doing well. So we are currently spending a day in Vienna and we are now on our way to visit Liquid Nature. Liquid Nature is a beautiful aquascaping store here in Vienna. Super excited to visit it and super curious how it's gonna look. I've seen pictures, I've seen their Instagram. Looks incredible. I'll see you when we get there. All right, so I decided to do a voiceover instead. And the footage that I recorded in the shop itself, I mean, the footage is okay, but the audio just wasn't really, wasn't really good. I only had my phone with me and I was wearing AirPods, so I thought it would be good, but it was, it was just not very clear. So I decided to do a voiceover instead. So we're now in the first part of the shop. This is where they basically sell all their products. So they have a lot of different types of aqua soils. Um, they're selling a lot of small tanks, lots of dua glass tanks, uh, lots of equipment, filters, heaters, uh, water additives, different types of food. They have the whole range of ADA fertilizers. They're selling a lot of ADA stuff in the store. And in the center here, they have this beautiful hardscape layout. Very small, I think it was a 45p. Uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful hardscape layout, very detailed, lots of detail. I think it was Sirio Rock with small azalea root or spider wood. And this is also selling the whole range of um, Oase filters. Chihiro's lights, castle lights. So that's uh, this corner of the store. And then we're moving to the left side where they sell a lot of fertilizers. So they were stocking a lot of master line fertilizers. It's not something you see very often, but I've heard a lot of good stories about the master line fertilizers. So maybe I will try them in the future as well. Also selling Tropica fertilizers, of course. And they had two big fridges full of yeah, in vitro plants, both from Tropica as well as Denela and some of Aqua Art. Yeah, just a huge selection of in vitro plants. And on the left of the two fridges, they had this, yeah, it's almost like a display tank with plants that they sell. So these are just the uh, yeah, regular potted plants, but they were actually selling them in a beautiful display tank with four Chihiros RGB Vivids. And yeah, the colors on these lights were insane. So <laughs> imagine if you buy your plants from here, you just yeah, you just know it's good quality. I was really impressed by this. I think they're also for sure injecting CO2 into this. So just to make sure that when you buy plants here, you get the best of the best quality. So yeah, just a really nice way to showcase all the plants that you can buy. So they also had a immersed setup with yeah, cryptogreens, anubias, and just all the plants that do a lot, a lot better immersed. So this was also nice to see. And then we're moving on to their um, yeah, fish selling tanks. This was really interesting to see because normally when you go to a shop and they are selling fish, they're usually in these like bare bottom tanks with barely any decoration. But these were fully aquascaped yeah, selling tanks, I would call them. So they had a beautiful display and yeah, just really nice variety of fish. Here we have some I think uh, green neon tetras looking really healthy and then below that we have some uh, galaxy vs boras they were selling lots of gal galaxies and here we have a really interesting fish that you don't see very often so this is a special type of autosynclus the autosynclus cocoma also known as the zebra autosynclus very expensive, but a really, yeah, really beautiful fish. Then moving on to the top. Here they had a variety of just dwarf rasboras. So these are the, uh, the blue type and the regular type. So I was really impressed by these uh, fish selling tanks. Never seen anything like that. Okay, then we're moving on to yeah, my favorite part of this whole trip. And just this beautiful aquascaping gallery the the tanks that i'm about to show you guys are are absolutely insane 
I'm not sure exactly how many display tanks they had, but yeah, they had a lot of them. So we're just going to go over these one by one, just take a closer look. And yeah, guys, these are beautiful, so stay with me. Alright, so let's start with the first display tank. I think this one was a full ADA setup with the ADA cabinet and an ADA 120p. And this tank measures, I think, 120 centimeters by 45 by 45. But I'm not entirely sure on that. It's a very, yeah, very narrow tank. I think this is the old version of the ADA 120p. I think the new one is actually 50 centimeters. But yeah, just a beautiful, beautiful setup. I really like the two, the two bushes of the grass plant. I think this is Cypress Hell Fairy. And yeah, just a stunning display. Really like the fish choice as well with the small tiger barbs and the neon rainbows. I think this is one of their oldest layouts as well. Looking super healthy. A really, really nice clump of Anubias over there. And on the right side we see a beautiful Opistogramma. So yeah, I think this one was actually my favorite, favorite layout. Really love the healthy red lotus. And then we're moving on to the next one. And in between every aquascape, it had this beautiful, small, yeah, just a small setup, a small, this one was a small nano pond. And this Dua Glass Neo Air, I think it's called, with the elevated bottom. And this one was equipped with a ONF flat nano. So we're moving on to the next display tank. This is a 90p. Again, very, very beautiful. I think this one was also entered into the IAPLC contest. So we might see this later. They didn't say anything about me not being able to film. So I'm sure that me publishing this video should be okay. And the, the live stream for the IAPLC is actually this coming Saturday, Saturday, so make sure you to watch that as well. So yeah, this tank was full of bobitis and injecting a lot of CO2. Really a large amount of CO2. So yeah, I really like this display tank as well. I like the light screen background, the illuminated background. I think it has a nice effect. Yeah, super super lush plant growth really dense i think there was pearl wheat in the back right there really compact and then we're moving on to another small setup in between the aquascape this was like a small cube i was actually injecting co2 in there as well and yeah underwater was a lot of a lot of moss on some piece of hardscape but the main feature was the top part with a lot of beautiful immersed growth i think it was some ludwigia and some bacopa and the redwood floaters the philanthus fluitans love those really love those redwood floaters just a nice combination with the wooden base and the ONF flat nano makes it a nice setup and the next tank is a classic ada 60p on the uh, metal stand not sure what i like not sure if i really like the metal stand i prefer all the equipment to be kind of hidden but this was a nice cape as well I, I believe it was trimmed recently so it's not yeah it's not at its full full potential i think but um yeah just a simple simple but beautiful aquascape nice little Leopsis carpet with some crypts some nice stems in the background and on top they had the ADA RGB it's not called solo RGB I'm not sure what they call this one ADA RGB something again moving on to a small display this is a Dua Terra base in another Dua Neo Glass Air so it's like a Terra pot that you can fill with water and on the side they wrapped a lot of moss. So there's a small amount of water leaking through that terra pot. And this way, this way making sure that the moss doesn't dry out. Moving on to a ADA 45P. 
so a smaller smaller display this one was also trimmed recently it's a bit of a shame but still looking really good this one had a carpet of UG utricularia graminifolia so a bit of a difficult plant but they didn't seem to struggle with it at all and this one was standing on the glass ADA stand the glass stand is beautiful but <laughs> I'll be so afraid to to break it So I think this was another full ADA tank with the ADA Aquasky. I think this is called Aquasky Moon, where they've installed a mirror in the back. It's a really nice, nice gadget. And then we're actually moving on to a fully immersed setup. So I believe that this is called a Dua Paluda. So it's basically like a terrarium, but they've only used aquatic plants, which I think was nice. I'm usually not really a big fan of paludariums, but when they when they include aquatic plants, I actually quite like them. So this is a very should be in a very easy to maintain setup. No algae in the paludarium, and this one was using the Twin Star B Light, which looks really nice actually. They've installed a mister on it, which I think turns on like twice twice in an hour. And then moving on to another Dua tank, I believe this is called a Dua Terra. Maybe I'm getting these wrong because this is actually more like a paludarium with both water and an immersed section. So this one had the cold mist included, so the cold mist is yeah, basically sort of humidifying the, uh, the moss and the, all the other plants. And then there's a small water feature as well. I don't think it's big enough for any fish, but maybe some small shrimp could be could be nice in here. Next up we have a liquid garden tank. So I believe this is the uh, yeah, this is their own brand of glass optic white tanks from Liquid Nature, the Liquid Garden range. Super high quality optic white tanks. And this one included another sort of immersed section. So on the back of the tank they had a wall full of moss and again this cold mist feature looking really nice keeping all the plants nice and humid nice and moist I really like the uh, the immersed ball biters here looking really healthy usually when you see these immersed ball biters leaves they sort of have brown edges but this one was looking really really healthy really nice fish choice in here they had a combination of ember tetras and the, uh, I think these are rice fish, daisy rice fish, something like that. And then we're moving on to probably my favorite nanoscape in this gallery, which is this 35 liter scapers tank. So this is the tank that I sort of copied, sort of took a lot of inspiration from that you guys saw in my recent moss, moss video. The video where I said how to improve your aquascape with moss. So a lot of inspiration came from this tank. Uh, I've used very similar techniques to create the same sense of depth with all the wood. And yeah, as you can see, this one is also fully loaded with Fissinens moss and Ricardia moss, some small bush of Alandras. Yeah, I really like this uh, tank. Again, a light screen in the background to illuminate the background, which I think looks really good. So I'm only hoping that my escape will look just as lush and healthy as this one so they were using a Chihiro's WRGB slim on this one which you guys seen on my channel as well together with the dental escaper slower for filtration really nice fish choice in here as well with the dwarf rasboras two different types and they also had some scarlet bodies in here which I think is a, is a lovely little fish Again, a small feature in between the two scapes. This is more like a Wabikusa with a small LED light. And then we're moving on to another dental escapers tank. This is the 55 liter or the 50 liter version, which they kind of escaped into a Brazilian style layout with dragon stones, lots of stem plants. Uh, I believe this one was also trimmed recently, which is shame. I've seen this one on their social media channels and 
when it's not trimmed it looks really good even now it looks good but the stem plants are missing some height in the back so the background is a bit, is a bit empty this one was actually using a twin star light and this was the only tank that i saw with a twin star light the other tanks were usually using mostly chihiro's lights or actually the real ada lights but yeah just another beautiful aquascape one of many in this gallery then we're moving on to a really really beautiful iwagumi i'm usually not a big fan of iwagumis but this one was really nice using a chihiro's rgb vivid mini great great colors on the uh on the plants and the hardscape really yeah just really lush really vivid colors and they were using a lot of rickia in this layout which is a plant that you don't you don't see that often anymore so i think that was a nice yeah just a nice uh addition to this tank overall i really like the plant choice in this tank the fish in this aquarium is something some type of fish that i used to keep myself as well these are the dwarf or the spotted spotted blue eye rainbow fish from australia or new zealand i believe so i really like the plant choice in here i think they had a carpet of hemianthus calitricoides cuba and then in the background and in between the rocks they had halantium tenalum the regular type and then the rickia the rickia fluitans so only i believe only three types of plants in this layout but yeah, just a really nice combination the rocks were beautiful as well completely clean like there was not a single spot of algae on these rocks really nice another small wabikusa in between these two tanks this one was featuring some ludwigia and some liliopsis again with a nice wood base and a chihiros c2 led light So yeah, I really like that every single scape in the store had a, a small feature in between them. Either a wabikusa or a small pond or some other immersed setup. But yeah, then we're moving on to another really big display tank. I think this is also a 120p liquid garden. I think this one was 120 by 50 by 50. Really nice sort of hybrid diorama style layout with a nice sand path in the middle. And I really like the plant choice in this layout. So they had a beautiful uh, Heliantium tendalum red in here, which was really, really crazy red. Super narrow leaves as well. I think this one was from the uh, Dendalum in vitro range. Yeah, you don't really see many red carpeting plants. But this one is definitely a, uh, a beautiful type. Again, using a lot of Ricardia moss in here. And there was this beautiful display fish, the Decrossus filamentosus. It's a fish you don't see very often. And on the wood they had a beautiful clumps of Bucephalandra. And this is a, yeah, I think it was a very rare Bucephalandra. It's called Bucephalandra aqua artica. So this is from a plant company called Aqua Art. It's a Polish company. And yeah, they were selling this Bucephalandra in in vitro pots really really nice type of Bucephalandra and this tank was lit by a Chihiro's WRGB version 2 so this one is 120 centimeters yeah I think it's a good light for this uh, for this style of layout as well so yeah, overall I was just really impressed by the uh, the aquascapes in this gallery super clean barely any algae visible really healthy plants and the owner of the store stefan he told me that they're actually using reverse osmosis water in all of their display tanks the tap water in vienna is actually really good he said but it's quite hard so that's why they're using reverse osmosis water so then we're moving on to one more big display tank and yeah, so far we only had rimless tanks or open top tanks and well, this one was actually a hooded tank a tank with a rim and a hood i think this is a jewel rio 240 or 180 something like that yeah another beautiful aquascape 
with a lot of trident java fern again the cypress halfiri nice grass type plant and interesting fish choice in here as well you had a lot of cherry barbs and there was one more type of fish that i do not know the name of that's the the silver gray type of fish yeah another beautiful layout So this side of the gallery was basically the, the hardscape room. You had a large um, hardscape dojo where you could just play around with all the different types of wood and rock. And they had a huge, huge selection of hardscape. Lots of uh, redmore wood or spider wood. Lots of driftwood as well. And below that you had a nice selection of rocks. So of course they had the mini landscape rock or serious stone some gray pebbles or boulders which you don't really see that much in aquascaping but yeah, they're nice to use as well and next to that they had a rock called alpine rock which i haven't really seen anywhere else besides this shop kind of looks similar to the, the rocks that i have in my shallow tank the elderly stone so i'm not sure if this is the same with just a different name or if it's actually a different type of rock as well on the bottom they had a large, large selection of dragon, dragonstone, black lava rock, regular type lava rock, some fossilized wood as well. The fossilized wood is something I've never used in a skate before but I would, like to, I would definitely like to try that in the future. I think it's a very interesting type of, yeah, do I call it a rock or do you call it fossilized wood? And then on the top they had some small... Yeah, basically smaller rocks for either nano aquascapes or just for details. So yeah, a beautiful selection of hardscape. And on this side they also had some very small yeah, display tanks, either immersed or submersed. Really interesting to see these. Lots of detail in them as well. So yeah, for sure this, this aquascaping store has the most display things that I've ever seen. Alright guys, that was a tour of Liquid Nature. Incredible, incredible aquascaping store, studio, beautiful display things. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Uh, make sure you follow Liquid Nature on social media. I'll leave everything in the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed this tour. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.